Hey guys, uh, we're back again. It's been a minute, but uh, last video we looked at Flash characters. Well, not last video, but the video before last. We looked at Speed Streaks. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Archers. So I have three here, my own, and then I have the arrow, and then I have Prometheus. Yes, Prometheus is a Archer. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to give them the archer powers. Um, mine just has the bow. Whereas I think, yeah, so these two just have the bow. And then you have Prometheus, who has not only the bow and can use the bow, but he has the Trikatu and throwing stars. So we're going to go over some things there. Well, first off, we have to make them be able to use the bows and arrows and stuff. So, let's look at my own personal green arrow here. Alright. So, if you don't know how to do this, it's really easy. You go to File, and then you go to Add Folder to Workspace, and you select your Fisk Heroes folder. You put all the hero packs in your Fisk Heroes folder in here. So, we're going to look at my pack here with the data heroes and then we're going to look for injustice green arrow so you need all your normal stuff the function initiate hero set name set version set tier um if you want just the chest plate you can use just the chest plate but if you want more than that you need to obviously add like the leggings or the boots or the mask but this is what only uses the chest piece. Go here to the powers. You can use the Fiskero's archery one. You can. It's good. Uh, it's fine. It's, it's usable. Uh, or you can make your own. And we'll go over that. Um, this is all your stats. Now the important one for archers is this one. Bow drawback. Uh, I have my 1.5 because that is what every suit in the mod has. I'm fairly sure it's every suit. Uh, but they should all have 55% drawback speed. Oh well, some have different ones. But you can adjust that to your liking. Um, and, you know, adjust it. Mine has 0.50. Or it has 0.5, so that's 50%. Now, a lot of bow characters have this, and it's the bow horizontal. So you just, you literally turn your bow horizontal and it's mostly used for uh, the triple arrows. So let's grab triple arrow versus normal arrow. Let's grab a couple of them actually. Um, when you're just using, when you're just using normal arrows and to, to scroll through your quiver, you crouch and scroll. Just using normal arrows, it does this. It's all normal, right? You turn it sideways, and it just goes sideways. It doesn't really do much for the normal arrows. But if we go to triple arrows, and you shoot with vertically, it's all weird. But if you hold it horizontal, I, I believe it just changes the trajectory of the arrows. See, these are all like that. Yeah. So it'll change the position of the arrows. Maybe make them group tighter. It just depends. But yeah, you can turn the both sideways. Um, let's go over power. So we have the, uh, where you can equip the bow and you have the quiver equipment. You have your powers for archery, your bow drawback speed, your keybind here for horizontal bow. This should be it for the hero. Unless you want to add the throwing stars like Prometheus. We'll go and look at Prometheus here. Um, I have to go down here. So let's go look at Prometheus. Prometheus. 
Okay. Whoops. See, Prometheus has an extra keybind here for Utility Belt. And he only has Throwing Stars, so he has just the Throwing Stars as his thing. But, if you just want them to have Archery and Throwing Stars, you can put it like this. The power style like this. This is the code. Go look at Prometheus for the code for the Trokatu, the sword. See how it has primary equipment and he can equip it. It doesn't here. He uh, can't. He has to craft. But this is the code for the single Shokatu. You know, you can go check other characters like Deadpool to see how to do dual weapons. Uh, but if you just want them to have throwing stars and archery, do this. I recommend just throwing stars and archery. You can add smoke bombs and stuff, but there are arrows for that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, there should be smoke bomb arrows. If there's not, that's... I don't think there is, actually. Oh, there is, right here. Okay. Yeah, there's smoke bomb arrows. There's all kinds of different arrows, so I don't think you would need the smoke bombs and the, like, um, ice nades and stuff, but that's up to you. Because you obviously have all the potion effect points. Uh, if you want to add those things, look at back Batman with his utility belt, and it will show you what you need to do there. Um, I think I've covered a lot of how to do the your own power stuff, especially in the last one, because I'm pretty sure I did my own speed force. This is what, you know, you'd make your own thing here, but it would be with, like, archery and the... Um, it would be archery and utility belt with your utility in it. Now, we're going to go into the render. So, if we go to our render here and adjust the screen arrow. So, you know, you have your normal stuff. Your layer 1, layer 2, quiver. There are a few of these quiver textures in Fisk Heroes. Uh, I'll show you how to get to them right now. So if you come to here, if you come to here, where you can see all these folders, you go to textures, you go to heroes, and you go to quiver. These are all the quivers that are in the game. You can choose which one you think looks the best. Um, ours has on... Where did our, there it is. Ours has on the green arrow quiver. And that looks like this. And then this is the arrow quiver. And this is Prometheus quiver. They all look different. So you just have to figure out which one suits your suit. Or you can make your own. Uh, and use one of those as a template. Now I've said in previous videos you need this. You don't. You don't need this. You only need this if you're... Um, Say you have leggings, boots, and chest plate. Well, I would put chest plate here and do so. Let's let, let's go down here to a new suit that we've been working on. So, for example, for example, Superboy here. Um, right here, show model chest plate. It has head, headwear, body, right arm, left arm. This covers the head and the chest. So if you if you don't have a helmet and you want it to render your helmet so like if you have hair then you would put that on there um now we're gonna get into the fun stuff so here you have your quiver so when you have the quiver equipped it will go on your back and you add the livery quiver so you utils dot add livery renderer comma, quiver, in all caps, comma, whatever your texture thing is up here. Because this will call to this, and then it will check this and search for this texture in your files. Now, you can't really get the bow to render on the back. Now, we have gotten it to put the sprite for the bow. So this thing right here, we've gotten it to render that sprite on the back, but not the model. Um, not sure if it will or not, and like if we'll be able to or not, but we're, we'll show you how to do that with Prometheus' sword here. 
we'll go look at Prometheus and you'll see how to do it. So let's go to Prometheus's render, so render heroes. Element OP Prometheus. Okay. So if you look here, there's a new texture. Oh, sheath. Prometheus's sheath. So what you need to do, oh, uh, his creates like a whole model here. So basically what you need to do is if you need extra intensive help on this, you can look at this or you could go watch my models video. But you would create the model for the sheath or use the one that's already in the game. You can add deliveries for the quiver and there's one for the arrows too. I'll show you what that looks like. And then you bind the property, equipped items, set items, anchor, body, scale. You offset it, you change the rotation. Stuff like that. Um, I'm sure I could get the bow to render like this. If it's in the mod files. Hang on. If it's in this. Models. Tabula. It's not. But if you made a bow model. Or somehow got a hold of the Fiskier's one. You could make it render this way. The way that it's doing the sheath here. Uh, like I said, this is, uh, how to do this is all in my, uh, video on models. Not this, not deliveries, but how to make the model show up. Now, you can do this, which is the bind property. So, you bind the property to the equipped item. Um, uh, and then you can change the anchor, where it's anchored, the scale, the offset, the rotation. And don't forget about this function render. You need this down here. It renders this model. And it this right here tells it when to render. So when you put on the chest plate, it will render this. So if I take Prometheus and I take everything off, to go into third person. We're going to put on the boots, nothing. Pants, nothing. Helmet, nothing. Chest plate, the sheath is there. See? And that's basically it. Um, if you want a hood toggle or a helmet toggle, look at one of the characters uh, like that has it. It is fairly complex and I'll probably make a video on it soon. Uh, my videos should be picking up very soon uh, with production. Uh, I just haven't had time. Like This is the Flash one. We've been using this Flash animation that Fisk has added in his previous Speedster update for literally everything to do with the helmets. Just because it's so good. Um, but there's not very much on uh, arrow characters or like archers uh, besides the fact that they have a million arrows so you know you can change the jump height or you know which quiver they get um, you can make the bow spawn in your alt or you can make it not and make them have to craft it craft it So, this next video that's coming out, um, I want to say next week, will probably be a teaser for the new Hero Pack. Um, we'll have two videos next week, most likely. Yeah, teaser for the new Hero Pack and some other kind of hero thing. Like, uh, we have speedsters, and then this one is archers. We'll probably do tentacles. Possibly, probably, probably do tentacles. So just keep an eye out for those, and I will see you guys in the next video.